Hello everybody, my name is Roman Ivanov. Thanks for keep watching my YouTube channel. I'm here to help you how to avoid unnecessary pitfalls while you're dealing with real estate. In my last video I was talking about how to make an offer, how to buy a property. Let's assume that you made an offer and, and the seller successfully accepted. Well, now what? Now it's time for inspection. You have to know what you're buying. And I can definitely help you how to, how to navigate through this inspection report, which will gonna look like a burn down. Well, every single report contains these six clauses. Let's talk about each of them. Let's start with foundation and structural issues. In my personal opinion, if there is any structural issues on the report, just run away. That's, 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 that's thing holds the whole structure. If there is a basement problem, it's, it's always bad. But anyway, you have to keep in mind that the inspector, he is not a structural engineer. And if you're still interested in the property, call the structural engineer, call a couple contractors. Maybe it's an easy fix, but you can always negotiate the price down when there is something. Next, the electric service or just electric. Actually, my mistake was, was correct. Electric is not just electric service like everybody can assume. That, that electric panel and the wires coming in could be updated, but the rest of the wiring most likely will be old. Maybe it's old, maybe it's not up to code, but you have to look for knob and tube. Knob and tube looks like this. And if you see this, you probably have to consider either repairing it or maybe walk away from the deal. It could be really pricey. Second, plumbing. Plumbing. Plumbing involves two types of pipes, sewer line and water line. Water line, the be in the best case scenario, they packs, they plastic, they never leak and they don't rust. Well, if it's still copper lines, it's, it's okay, as long as you don't see these. This is rust on plumbing, this green stuff shows that this plumbing needs to be replaced or repaired in the nearest future. Just be careful. Now the sewer line. The major problem with the sewer line is a lack of fresh air. So basically the big pipe in the basement is supposed to go all the way up through the roof in order to get enough air to, to get the water down, sliding down. And the last and the most important part, the main line going towards the house. Uh, uh, lots of Pittsburgh houses, they have lead pipe. And I don't have to explain to you that water running through the lead pipes, it's not appropriate for drinking. If you find the lead pipe, just add another 10,000 for replacing the main line coming in. The HVAC, if you see a boiler, that's absolutely different story. But if there is duct work and forced air, you, you should always look for first newer units, obviously, but even if it's updated, you still have to look for duct work. With the most efficient 95% high-end furnace, high-end AC, with inappropriate duct work, you're still gonna face huge bills, even these units look good. So be careful, it's duct work and efficiency not just the units, but the units obviously. Obviously important part. Exterior and roof, that's the end, that's the shelter of your house. So roof most likely gonna be shingles. Slate roof can be also acceptable or maybe metal. But in Pittsburgh area most likely gonna see shingles. If shingles not wrapping around, if they not turn green, most likely they're in good shape. But just as a heads up, Roof, it's not just the roofing material, it's also flashing and gutters and a drain system. That's where the leaking, the most leaks coming from, from, from flashing. So you have to really consider these repairs uh, if, if flashings go bad. And now the last part is the land. Not, ev not every single inspector inspects the land most likely they inspect only the structure, but that's really important part if the erosion take place and uh, 
if, if you have to do any landscaping repairs, not just cosmetical, but uh, actual repairs to, to save the land, that could be really pricey investment into your future property. Well, hope this video was helpful and I'll see you next time.